This is just a quick simple video which will hopefully save you just a little bit of money when it comes to clothing. If you have never sewed before and you don't know what you're doing, this is the video for you, don't worry. This is for absolute beginners and what I'm going to show you is really not very difficult. Now particularly if you've got kids you'll know that they get holes in things, but even adults get holes in their clothes. Now for many, a small hole in clothes would mean that you would need to chuck it out. And the idea of sewing terrifies many, but it's actually really not that difficult to patch up just a small hole and I'll show you a really quick shortcut way of doing it. It's very easy, truly, you can do it. <laughs> and it means that perfectly good clothes don't have to be thrown out. Or clothes that are on their way out will stretch just that little bit further. So as you can see, just a little hole in the top. For a small hole, all you need is a needle and some thread. You can get this really cheap from the supermarket. So I'll try to do this in a way where you can see what I'm doing and hopefully I do all right with it. So you just get a little bit of your thread. I fold my string over a little bit to make it a bit thicker because you need to make a knot. So you then make a knot in there. And I usually do that twice, so it's a big knot. And it doesn't matter if it kind of looks a bit skew whiff, because that's going to be on the inside, you're not going to see it. But if you don't want it too long, you can just cut it. So the idea is you just want it to be a big enough knot that it's not going to come through the material. Then you thread it onto the needle, that's always the hardest part. I find licking the end of it can help. My kids thought that was gross. But then apparently it's okay to chew your toenails, so, you know, go figure. Child logic. If you want it to be thicker, you keep it, like, folded over so that there's two. But for, like, this very lightweight material, I wouldn't really need to worry about that. You locate your little hole. And you want to do it on the other side, so the side that you don't see. And you just pinch it together. You start here. So hopefully you can see that okay. The hole is just here and you start just where it's not. And then you just loop it around and bring it through. So in loop around and you just do that if you look you will be able to see where it's been repaired so this kind of quick easy job I just do on things that are more like just casual clothes um, or if it's in a spot where you're not really gonna see it so this is at the back of my top so you're not really gonna see it Okay, so that has now been repaired and you can go over it as much as you want if you just want to like reinforce it. Didn't take very long, this is the kind of thing you can do while you're watching TV. Now to tie it off, you go through again and you bring the needle through the loop and that makes a knot. I do it a couple of times because I want to make sure my not does not come undone. Now it's good to note that this only works for small holes. If you've got a bigger hole you need to do like a patch underneath but that's a little bit more effort and I'm just showing this for people who really don't know how to sew and think it's far beyond them just to show that it's really simple and you can do it. So then we just snip that off. Like I said you can see a little bit where it is so it's just here. If you very carefully sew all the way to the edge and make it a very small transition, you will see that a lot less. So I was just really quickly doing it. But when you hold up the top, especially because it's wrinkly, you don't really see where it is. So that's a hole fixed up. I've got another little one here and that's on the front. So I'll show you if I do it a little bit more carefully, how it's not as noticeable. 
So here again I've folded it over and this is the inside so the bit that you don't see and we want to start as close to that fold as we possibly can and then we just slowly work our way out around that hole the same way that we did before. Now you want to just make sure so if you can see there where it's fraying and coming away you got to make sure you're enough on the other side of that and not too close because otherwise it'll just keep coming away so make sure you go in far enough hopefully that makes sense now other people might have an even simpler and quicker way of doing this and if you do please comment because truly I would not consider myself a sewer that's for sure I can do a little bit but really just basic stuff okay so now we're past where the hole was but we want to just very slowly taper it I think that's the correct word so that by the time we get to the end of this it's right on that edge and then again you go through your loop to knot it off and always do that more than once it might go without saying try to use the same cotton color as your clothes because sometimes you can see it through the other side hopefully this has worked well okay so there is where I've patched up that hole and it's a lot less obvious because of the way that I very carefully did it so yeah you really can't even see that another really super easy sewing job is sewing back on a button so again if you don't know how to sew it really is simple so you just locate where your button goes Quite often you can actually see where the buttons come off, so that will help you. First I'll change my thread colour, because this is red, and I don't want white thread. So give yourself a fair bit of thread. This is very thin, so I'm going to double it over. So you just fold it in half, then you tie it. can be a bit fiddly, so you can sort of scrunch it around, like roll it like that and then sometimes that helps. So yeah, sewing can be a little bit fiddly, but fixing up a button and having it save you from throwing out a shirt will save you a bit of money, so I think it's worth it. <laughs> I forgot to put the needle in. Okay, so first we thread the needle. Now, so you don't have to make a big knot at the end, you can just tie it once or twice and then you get your button and you just pass it through two of the holes and then because we tied this over twice you just separate the two bits of thread and put it through there and pull it and that attaches it to your button. Now you figure out where you put in your button and you sew in and then we pull the button into place and you go to the other side and you push it through and you just want to put it through a different part of the button than what it originally went through. So you can pull the button away to make this a bit easier on the first bit and you stick it through and just bring that all the way through. Okay, so now we're going to be attaching tight where the button is going. So make sure it is where you want it to be and you just go through again a different hole. It doesn't really matter which one just not the same one that you came through just then. 
there we go and your button is attached that is the hardest bit done and look how easy that was people out there you can do this don't be afraid of sewing not simple sewing anyway so then we go through the other side now this is where it can just be a tiny bit fiddly and tricky um, because now you're trying to get through the hole and get the right spot but you can just sort of look under there move your needle around a little bit and then you get it through and you're all good so and then obviously from the top it's very easy because you see exactly where you're going and pull it all the way through and then just keep going if you look you can often see where you put the thread through last time and so that can help you with knowing exactly where the holes are but you just kind of fiddle it around and you can move it so that you can see where your needles coming out there's probably like a proper way to sew on a button that you know you go through certain loops certain amount of times I don't know what that is and I truly do not think it matters so you can do this while you're like watching The Crown or Downtown Abbey and feel like I'm living back in the 1800s look I am sewing by hand it really does help to make sure you've pulled it all the way through before you go back through because sometimes it gets a bit stuck and knotted and as you go the button will be fastened tighter and tighter to the piece of clothing but as you can see it really is very simple and when you're happy with how fastened it is sorry that keeps going a bit fuzzy there's not a whole lot I can do about it but I think you get the idea so on the underside so there's your button there's the underside we now just have to do a knot so that it stays so you just go slightly into the material or even just under the thread and you pull that through not all the way through because you then want to go through this loop to make a knot and same with what we did with fixing up the hole and you want to do it more than once so through the loop and then just pull sometimes you end up with a little straggly loopy bit it's not a big deal so I'm just going to do it one more time and pull it tight and then we snip that off not sure if you can see it there's a little bit here that was just from when we first went in so you just snip that off Ta-da! You now know how to sew a button back on something. So those are just two simple sewing things that will hopefully help you out a little bit. And the next time you get a hole in something or a button falls off, it's not like, oh no, I have to throw that out or I have to go get it repaired. You can do it yourself for really cheap and easy.